In this video, we will cover current release of Project Manager. Project Manager prevents repetitive tasks and automates them. Allows you to create and manage all your projects and team members. Don't waste productivity by searching files for your task or projects. Let the Project Manager add-in do hard work to provide quick access and keep projects, tasks, and teams on track. After installing add-on, we can create our first workspace. For this we need add username, workspace name, and add directory. To set directories we have two options. First we can add main directory, in which project manager create three folders, data, projects, and team. Second option is to split paths. This allows us set different location for data, projects, and team. Let's keep it simple and use first option. After we set all information, press initialize. Now we can close preference. If you go to toolbox under CG Deco, you will find project manager. Let's open it. Under projects, you will see a list of all your projects. We can create our first project by clicking new project. In the new project panel, you can choose the project structure. The project manager comes with a default structure, CG Deco main. You can create structures and settings under templates. We will cover this later. Project numbers are generated automatically, but you can set them by yourself. Add project name and press OK. Immediately in the project list, you will see your first project. Also below the new project you will have a button for accessing the project directory, let's press it. You can see that the project manager generates folder structure according to CG Deco main template. Let's add a new structure. Go to settings, under templates, you will find a list of all your templates. Let's press add, it will open new template panel. First, add your new template name. Under project structure, you will create folders, separate by comma. For the subdirectory we use slash, let's look at an example. Task 3D key is a location where all tasks will be created. After filling all the fields press OK. In a template list, you will be able to see your newly created template. If you open the data directory inside structure underscore lib you will see, the project manager creating JSON file. You can edit it directly. Let's test it by creating a new project. Under project click new project, now under project structure, you can see our created structure. Let's add the project name and press OK. If we open the project directory we can see that it follows the new rules set in a template. Before creating tasks, let's look at a team and add new members. Under the team, you can see the current workspace. Below it, we have a list of our team members. On the right side panel, press add person. Inside add person panel, we need to add the person name. Last name and email are optional. If you open the drop down menu under status, you are able to set person status. Depending on this, your team member will have different accessibility. Manager can add or edit projects and tasks when internal or outsource can just access it. Let's select internal. Person role we setting under position, let's set as 3D artist. And press OK. We can edit the selected person by clicking edit person. Change a person's status and position. Let's open the selected person directory. You need to give access to your member of an entire his or her directory. When we assign a task to your member inside the data, the project manager will create information which allows your team member to see assigned tasks. Let's add one more person. Now, when we have a team, let's go back to projects. Select a project and add our first task by clicking new task. Inside new task panel, we need to specify the task name. Below we have the task URL. If you are using Trello, Teamwork, or other web-based management application you can add a related task URL. You can also use a link to Google Docs with all task amends. This will allow your team members quickly see all important information about the assigned tasks. For a simple task, we can use description, let's add a short description. This will be visible on the selected task below the task list. We can assign a task by selecting a person from assigned to the drop-down menu. If you toggle add subdirectory, this will allow you to add a subdirectory for your task. When we press OK, the project manager will generate a task. 
Let's create and assign couple more tasks. Now I think it's a great time to cover workspace. Let's go to settings and select workspace. Here you will find a list of all your workspace. If you are a freelancer, working with multiple clients, probably you want to split your different client projects from each other and keep them separate. For this, best way is create new workspace. Press create, inside create workspace add new workspace name, your name and main directory. Same as in preference you have option to split paths. After filling all information press OK. If you have existing workspace, you can press add. Inside add workspace, fill all information, workspace name, username, directory for, data, projects, team. If you are team member, your manager will provide you with this information. After adding workspace you will be able to see all assigned projects and tasks. All steps that require take for your team members, we will cover later. You can edit selected workspace by clicking edit. You will be able to change username and key directories. To switch between existing workspace, we need go to settings, preference. In here, we can see drop down menu for current workspace. If you click it, you will see all existing workspace. Below, we have a list of templates related to selected workspace. This will allow you set default structure for your projects, which can always be changed when creating new project. When we change current workspace, we can go to projects. Now you can see we have projects which are created inside selected CG Deco workspace. If you will be working on this workspace, you can go to add in preference and instead of create workspace switch to add workspace. This option will simplify project manager UI by hiding team and settings panels. So next time when you be opening project manager, you will have just projects. You can always bring full UI by clicking on create workspace. Now we can fully cover task list. For each task we have basic information, task name, assigned to person name, and current task stage. First let's look in edit task. Here you will be able assign to a new person, change task stage, URL, and description. Below edit task we can open task URL, task directory, or blender file. Also we have task history, let's open it. Here you have a list of all submitted task versions, time when it was created, username who was making it, and short change list description. This will give you option if needed go back to old task versions. Let's cover steps that require take for your team members. First you will need provide, person username, workspace name, also give access to person and projects directory. With this information your team member after installing add-in on his or her computer have two options. First go to add workspace, fill given information, and press initialize. Another option go to preference, create workspace, and inside settings under workspace, add workspace. Those steps was covered at start of this video. When user will open project manager, will see all assigned projects and related tasks. User status was set as internal, for this reason he or she don't have access to create or edit projects and tasks. Team member will be able open task URL, task directory, blender file or task history. When a user finishes the assigned task, instead of saving a file, the user needs to submit a task. Inside the submit task panel, user will need to fill in the change list and also set the task stage. If the user will set in review or redone, project manager will hide this task from the user assigned task list. This allows your user to see just tasks which are needed to complete. After pressing OK, the project manager will create a backup version file and log the given information, which you will access inside task history. Project manager was created for the artist with intention to prevent repetitive tasks and automate them. It's ongoing project for building better pipeline. After testing, please let us know what's working, what's not, and how we can improve it. Together, we be able create tool, which saves our time, so you and your team can focus on creativity. Thank you, until next time.